Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today is just the how-to um, for the portable emulation station. Uh, this is the updated version that I've done. Um, this was originally designed by Herb Fargus. Um, what I've done is updated RetroArch to the latest release, um, added some PSP emulator, um, Commodore 64, Wii U, Wii, GameCube, PlayStation 2, uh, ScumVM, so on and so forth. Uh, so first thing you're going to want to do, there's two links in the description of the video. Uh, the first link is going to take you to the updated formula, portable emulation station 7-zip file. Uh, you can go ahead and just click download right there. Next, you're going to come to this mega link, and this is for PC SX2 uh, pre-configured. Uh, I usually just click download through your browser. It's only 35.8 megabytes, so you can go ahead and download that. Now once you have them downloaded, you're going to have the portable emulation station and the PC SX2. Just highlight both, right click, and extract here. Uh, so once you have those extracted, you're going to have two folders and two files. I'm just going to move them here. So first thing you're going to want to do is use this torrent. This is for the HyperPC unofficial BIOS pack. And you're going to want to download that and this next is a portable emulation station guide uh, this is for Herb Fargus on his github this is for the wiki uh, to help you out with any issues that you may encounter um, then we have our portable game station build and the PCSX2 so first thing we're going to want to do um, is once you've downloaded the HyperPi PC pack from this torrent go inside the folder HyperPC emulators and we're just going to go into RetroArch and we're going to take the system folder, cut, we can close that, go into your portable game station, dot emulation station, systems, retroarch, and then we're just going to paste it in here. There we go. So next thing we're going to want to do is we will minimize that for now is go into your PCSX2 that you've downloaded and go into PCSX2 and right click and extract here. Now once that's extracted go into the Sony PlayStation 2 folder and just take the BIOS folder, right click, cut we can close that and we're going to go back into our portable emulation station go up into systems and we'll go into PCSX2 go ahead and paste that folder in here uh, I already have the files in there yours won't say this I'm just going to replace the files there we go lastly we're going to go into RetroArch we're going to go into system DC and you're going to want to copy DC underscore boot, DC underscore flash, DC underscore NVMEM, and FSCA dash table. So we're going to right click, we're going to copy those four files. We're going to go up a folder, up a folder, up a folder, and we're going to go into null DC, data, and we're going to paste them in here. Next thing you're going to want to do is go until you get to your dot emulation station folder, go into ROMs, and we'll drag that over to the side here. And next I am going to copy just a few ROMs. I'm not going to go crazy here. It's just for demonstration. So I have some portable emulation station ROMs ready to go. So I'll do Dreamcast. So I'm just going to cut and paste that. Uh, next I'll do N64 cut paste and I'll do PS2 PS2 Simpsons skateboarding cut 
and paste that into the PS2 folder. Now that you have your ROMs copied over, we can go ahead and launch the portable emulation station. Um, I'm just going to launch windowed, runs a little quicker while I'm recording. So we've got N64, Dreamcast, PS2, uh, Cody is always there. Um, you'll notice ScumVM is there and I'm going to get into that in a moment. Uh, so first I'm just going to launch a Nintendo 64 game. Now, I've already scraped my box art. If you need to scrape, just hit start on your controller. Press A on scraper. A on scrape now. Uh, select all the systems that you want to scrape for. Once they're all highlighted, go back. Um, user decides on conflicts. That's if you want to choose uh, individual artwork for each game to make sure they're correct. Uh, you can turn that off if you want it to go automatically. And then you would just go down to start and press A. Um, I'm not going to scrape right now. But I will launch N64 here. This is the Moopin Core within RetroArch. There it is launching to exit. Alt F4. Um, let's go back to the main menu here. Uh, Dreamcast. This is running through Null DC. We'll make sure that it launches. And there we go. And there we go. I'll just do Alt F4 to exit. Go back. PS2. Go in here. Simpsons Skateboarding. And there we go. That launched. So Alt F4 will take us back to Emulation Station. So, basically, and Cody does work as well. You would just launch Cody. Um, takes a little bit because I'm recording. So I'm just going to quit Emulation Station for now. And what you'll want to do before you start playing games is go into your .emulation station systems and configure your controller within uh, Semu, Dolphin, um, DOSBox, I don't know how to make DOSBox run, but I did include it, so if you want to configure that. Um, Null DC, PCSX2, PPSSPP, uh, RetroArch, ScumVM works straight out the gate for me, and WinVice as well, which is for Commodore 64. But go ahead and make sure your controller is configured uh, within all of your systems there. And I'm going to show you ScumVM. So basically the reason why your ScumVM shows a game but you don't have one, I've left a bat file as a guideline if you want to add more games. So let me show you how to add a ScumVM game. So you've got ScumVM and then ScumVM game folders. So if I were to go into my ScumVM game folders, and now I'm going to copy my ScumVM game. So let me just go here. Hyper PC, ROMs, and I'll go down to ScumVM. And I'll do uh, Leisure Suit Larry 5 and 6. Copy, paste. So your, your ScumVM game folders go into the ScumVM game folders folder. Uh, if that makes any sense. Okay, so now. we're going to go into the scumvm folder now leisure suit larry six i'm going to copy this file copy and i'm going to paste it and then i'm going to rename it to Le leisure suit larry five because i added that game so leisure suit larry five so you're going to need notepad plus um, plus what this does is if we right click and we edit with notepad plus plus this tells you'll always leave all of this the same and you're going to leave this the same in between these two brackets is what your game folder is called so I had LSL 5 that I added now this one is 6 so I'm going to leave it the same that's going to launch Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry 6 
I'm going to go to Leisure Suit Larry 5, edit with Notepad++, and now I just want to change the game name here to Leisure Suit Larry 5. And then hit Save and Close. So I've left this alone, so I've left this included so that you have a, a guideline on how to add more bat files to launch your ScumVM games. Before we launch ScumVM games through Emulation Station, we will need to launch ScumVM. So we're going to go to dot .emulation station, systems, and ScumVM, and let's go ahead and launch it. Now I'm going to remove these so that I'm starting fresh, remove game, and I'm going to re-add them. So I'm going to hit add game, and I'm going to go, go up, go up, go up. So now I'm in portable game station where I have it installed right now, dot emulation station. I'm going to go to ROMs. And we're going to go down to our ScumVM game folders folder. And I'll add LSL5. And I'll do LSL5, hit choose, hit OK. And then we'll go to add game. And I'll do LSL6, hit choose, and hit OK. And now what we're going to do is quit. And now let's launch Emulation Station. And we'll go to Scum VM. Now I have my two games there. So the bat files launch the game through Scum VM. So here's Leisure Shoot Larry 5. And it launches straight away. And my mouse is working. I haven't configured anything. So this is to fast forward through the game. I can hit oops, really, show me, so on and so forth. If you want to exit a game, go ahead and Alt F4, Leisure Suit Larry 6, Scum VM Boots, here I am, and I can Alt F4, and there you go. So that's how you get your Scum VM games working. Um, I did want to throw that into this video. Um, because I, it, it is kind of confusing. It took me quite some time to figure out how to get it to go. But once I figured it out, I was pretty happy about it. I like playing some of the old Leisure Suit Larrys. Uh, and there's a lot of Scum VM games that I'm not familiar with that I really want to dive into. So um, that's, that's basically it, guys. That's how you get this rocking and rolling. Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, and before I go, I just want to say... Uh, if you're looking at this showcase theme, which is an amazing theme, this was done by David Marty. Um, he is on YouTube as well, and he has a GitHub page. Uh, he is, does phenomenal work. This emulation station build was done by Jay Rasa. Uh, I cannot find him on YouTube, but he does have a GitHub page. Check him out. It's J-R-A-S-S-A. -S -S -A. Um, and of course, the man that designed this portable emulation station build... Uh, Herb Fargus, uh, my hat's off to him as well, an incredible job. All I've done here guys is kind of merged everyone's awesome work together and updated the systems to to uh, the latest versions. So hopefully everyone enjoys this. Um, again guys, thanks for watching, have a good day.